Geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com, and today we're going to look at how to stop Windows Update from downloading drivers. A lot of problems with it lately. Not the first time, won't be the last. There are two ways to do that. Let's make sure we're clear on that. Group Policy Editor or the Registry. Both users can use the Registry. Windows 10 Pro users only can use Group Policy Editor or Windows 10 Home users can actually download two separate files. One's Group Policy Editor, the other's the Enabler. Uh, I'll provide links to an article with links to all that. But let's get into Group Policy Editor by pressing the Windows key plus R. And let's do, uh, let's see, should be gpedit.msc, gpedit.msc. That brings up the Group Policy Editor. All we want to do is look over here to the left under Computer Configuration right here. And we want to scroll down to Administrative Templates, keep expanding the arrows. Windows Components and look for Windows Update. Here it is right here. Now we got to dig down a little bit and we're looking for a key that says do not include drivers with Windows 10 right here. So you can see it's about a little over halfway down maybe. Simply double click that. Not configured is the default for most group policy settings but as you can see it's explained here if you have any problems enable or disable and what to do as you can see enable this policy to not include drivers of windows quality updates so you check enabled click ok click apply and then reboot that is all you have to do for windows 10 users who have group policy editor and of course now we got to look at the registry version this could vary a little bit from computer to computer but it's not complicated at all once again the windows key plus r and get reg edit going press enter and you will have your registry editor. What we want to do here when it comes up, I'm already here, but once again in the link provided you will find that you can just go to HKey Local Machine, Software, Policies, Microsoft, Windows. The reason we want to go here is some people are going to have a key and some people are not. What we want to find down here is if you have the Windows Update key. If you do not, come back up here to the Windows folder. Right click, New, key and when that comes up type in windows update and your new key will show up right here as you can see on mine with windows update now that you have the windows update key what we can do here is right click on that if you do not have and you probably don't over here another key that's our d word that says these are d words that say you see this disable OS upgrade you're looking for one that says exclude WU drivers and quality update as you can see it's pretty long and you don't have it here so we want to go to Windows update again the key right click new D word 32 bit value click on that now type in what I just mentioned exclude WU drivers in quality update try and get the caps correct on that and once you've got it typed in there, press enter. Now, we're almost done. Just double click on that. And you have here the value data. The value data is currently zero, but if you change it to one and click OK, you will now no longer get drivers during Windows Update. So you can go either route. Well, as you said, neither one's too difficult. I thought Group Policy Editor was a tad easier, but don't be afraid of the registry on this one. It's pretty simple. Don't forget that you can export your registry right here. You just didn't see it. File, export, and name it anything you want so that if you screw something up, you can always come back and do file, import, or wherever you save the registry key here under export, you can double click it to restore it. So that way you don't have any troubles. System restore point doesn't hurt either. And there you go. That's enough of that nightmare of Windows 10 downloading drivers. And now you can use Driver Booster, one of the other popular driver updating programs, and not have to deal with this anymore. As always, if we gave you a little hand here, click subscribe. We'd appreciate that. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.